incandescence, luminescence, phosphorescence, fluorescence, all these senses. Okay, let's try to make some sense out of these words. Guys, this is my little brother's painting, and I must say, it is a mess. But if I shine the UV light on it, whoa, that's so cool. The paint is literally glowing. And then when I turn it off, there's no more glow. This is called fluorescence, and we will learn about that later. Hi guys, my name is Riteja, and today I'm here with my friend Sahil. Hi. And today we are doing a science experiment. Now, I chose a science experiment because, you know, it's the time, it's the COVID times, we have to stay at home, and we can't really do science experiments. So basically, what I did is I got my friend, and I got some uh, science chemicals, and got some uh, equipment, and we are going to do some experiments. And that too, this, today's lab is going to be about light, and uh, luminescence, and incandescence, and I'm going to explain that later. So Sahil, I know it's like a really, really odd time to be at this moment, like all the COVID and quarantine. So how are you? How are you doing? Like, are you fine? Or? I mean, I'm good, I would say. I'm getting a little bored of online school, but yeah, I'm doing good. So we have all our safety gear on because safety first, of course. And we have all our materials for experiment number one. But first, I need to explain two things. The first thing is incandescent light where it's basically light in the presence of heat. It's basically saying that if you heat something up, if you heat something up so much, in, at some point in time, it will glow. Um, Sahil, do you want to show some examples of incandescent, uh, things that are incandescent? Um, for example, the sun is incandescent and fire is incandescent. They are both examples of incandescent light. Yeah, and I just realized that even if you uh, like if you even if you heat up a rock it'll glow at some point in time so that's very interesting we talked about hot light which is incandescence and now we're going on to cold light which scientifically is called luminescence where it's basically saying light in the absence of heat for example electricity can run through something and it can glow and one example of this is led bulbs because led bulbs are really uh, popular throughout the world and electricity can just run through it and the, it'll, the light will just light up like that. So let's do an experiment to see what actually fluorescence is. So first we need to pour 100 milliliters of water. So Sahil, you want to do that? Yeah, yeah that's, that's good enough. And then we have this chemical which is called fluorescein. We just need a little quantity of it. And we just sprinkle this on. Oh wow, that's so cool. So cool. Just swirl it around. And then let's turn the UV light on it and see what it does. Oh wow, that's so cool. And if I just do this, I'll just mix it in with the Wow, that's such a it's such a dramatic kind of green color. Really cool. Well, I I really never expected that for that to happen. And now I'm like really surprised. Well, I can just, just blend it. So we're going to see how the solution looks with the UV light and without the UV light. So for, without further ado, okay. So now it looks a bit orangish yellow kind of uh, color because of the chemical itself, that color. And then when you shine the UV light on it though, it becomes green. It becomes like a really, really bright green. So, like honestly, red and green are like opposite colors. And when you shine this light, it's really, really surprising. It's really cool. So this is it with the color off. And then this is it with the light on. Then see the dramatic color change. So Shateja, what is going on here? Why is the substance glowing when the light is turned on? And why does it not glow without the light? Okay, so basically what's happening scientifically because there let's say let's give an example of one atom when the lights off uh, normally there's or there's electrons orbiting the nucleus and each energy each uh, orbit has a different energy level so ones that are lower have lower energy and orbits that are higher have higher energy and what's the what the light is doing is basically 
uh, it's making the electrons collide into a higher energy level and it's just keep on colliding because the light is keep on shining and then when the light turns off it goes back to its original orbit and then when it goes back that's what emits light. It's not just fluorescein that glows in UV light. Fluorescence is actually very common in nature and it can be found through butterflies, scorpions, and even minerals. UV light is invisible, but this flashlight beam is most definitely visible. It's basically creating a mix of purple light and UV light. Also, guess what? You may not notice this, but we use fluorescent materials a lot in our daily lives. For example, if I shine my UV light on all of these things, Whoa, some of them glow, like my whiteout, my highlighters, even the Play-Doh lid, if you can see properly. And then when I turn it off, then the glow stops. And this is what fluorescence is all about. Let me do it again. Turn it off. Even currency notes have fluorescent markings for security. See that little strip over there? That's what it is. Okay, so why does paper glow? I don't know, why does paper glow? Because it's light. Ha ha ha, that's so cringy. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cringy.